this is a special day and a special opportunity for people uh, in our state of Illinois to get health care coverage. I walked across Illinois in 2001 with my doctor who called me this week, uh, Quentin Young, who was a doctor, physician of Martin Luther King Jr. when he lived in Chicago in 1966. So my doctors always believed in decent health care for everybody, and so do I. And so way back 13 years ago, we started on a bridge over the Mississippi River in Rock Island. It's called the Centennial Bridge. And we walked all the way to Chicago and Lake Michigan on behalf of decent health care for everyone. And it was shortly after the passing of Cardinal Bernadine, who just before he passed away, uh, wrote a letter to all of us saying that one of his great uh, regrets in his life uh, was that we did not have decent health care for everyone. So we uh, believed in what Cardinal Bernadine said, and I think what most everybody understands, that health care is not a privilege, it's a fundamental right. And I know all our navigators feel that way. And we're grateful to our president, President Barack Obama, who in his campaign made this an issue for all of America in 2008 and again in 2012. And the passage of the Affordable Care Act is really a landmark law in our country. And it does provide the opportunity for literally thousands and thousands of Illinoisans to get health care coverage, many of whom didn't have it at all. And so uh, under the law, the first year has just passed, uh, we've added 217,000, as Martin said, to what's called the health care exchange, the marketplace, and we've added 500,000 to Medicaid in our state. Altogether, 717,000 people through the Woo! Affordable Care Act have been enrolled. And I want to thank all the navigators who are here. We're on that front line. Uh, this year, they're going to be full-time navigators, okay? It is so important that we reach out and uh, connect with many people who still are needing health care coverage. And we want to, in person, as many possible opportunities as we can to describe what uh, the plans are, what the opportunities are. Uh, we can do it online, on the phone as well. Uh, but it begins this Saturday. November 15th, this Saturday, is the beginning of the new enrollment period for the second year. And we've got to really reach out as to our neighbors and to people all across Illinois uh, in a 92-day period. We have until February 15th uh, to get as many more folks into health care coverage as possible. And um, I went to Washington a few months ago and I talked to the Secretary of Health and Human Services, <laughs> Sylvia Burrell, and uh, she told me one of the things that we really should focus on in this period of enrollment for year two are the holidays. They're coming up. Thanksgiving. People and families get together and then Christmas and uh, Hanukkah and all kinds of holidays around the end of the year, New Year's, and then uh, there's the Super Bowl too in early uh, February. <laughs> So whatever holiday, uh, we want to use that opportunity to organize and to let people know what their opportunities are. And it is very, very important to do this because our navigators are multilingual. We understand how important it is in different languages, whether it's English or Spanish or Polish, or I think right here we have Russian and Ukrainian, uh, you know, to reach out to the people of Illinois. We're an immigrant state. People have come from many different places, and uh, they're, they're under the law entitled to uh, have the coverage of the Affordable Care Act. We want to make sure we can spell it out for them in a very concrete way. There's some good things this year uh, that are new. Uh, this year we have 100, uh, last year we had 165 insurance plans. This year, 410 plans, many more plans, many more options. Last year we had seven insurance companies that were part of the uh, uh, network and uh, now we have 10. Three more new insurance companies, that's good. good. Very good, more options than ever before. The more competition. Uh, is better for all of us. And I think our goal is to really reach every uninsured person in Illinois and give them that opportunity to sign up for health insurance. It's important from birth to passing, and it's important that everybody be covered in Illinois, and I believe in that as governor. I want to mention a couple of other things. Uh, not only uh, do we have the in-person option, for as many people as possible to learn firsthand about what their options are. But there's financial assistance. About 77% 
of the people who participated in the insurance exchange in the past year received a subsidy, received uh, help uh, to pay for that uh, insurance that they got. And the average amount was $2,400. So it's a significant amount of money, and that's why at these holidays in particular, we want to reach out to family members, to young people, to folks who uh, maybe were missed the first year or they missed the opportunity uh, to not miss that chance. Uh, this is something that all of us as a community, a family in Illinois, can do together. And I think it's quite important that we do it together. And we have a website, Get Covered. Illinois.gov, get covered, Illinois.gov. And then the phone number, toll free, is 1 866 311 1119. And some folks may call up to schedule an appointment. And uh, we want to really encourage using you know, the online or the phone to schedule an appointment. As uh, Martin just said, this will be one of the sites this Saturday. Uh, there's a South Shore. Cultural Center is going to be a site. I think we're going to have about 250 sites all over our state. Uh, and we have many, many events scheduled along the way because this is something that we grow from the grassroots up. It doesn't come from the top down. The great things of our society, the great movements of our society have bubbled up from everyday people like our navigators here, and like folks who work in the healthcare world. Uh, we're really proud of you. We really have excellent healthcare institutions in Illinois, our clinics, our hospitals, all those who work in healthcare. This is a, a very important vocation. It's not a job, it's a vocation. And we want to make sure we have everybody uh, having that opportunity to get health care coverage. So I wanted to come today because Saturday is the beginning and we're going to be working hard. Uh, I know for 57 and a half days uh, until my contract expires, I'm going to be working on this. Well, that's the way it is. But I think it's very important to understand that the 92 days of enrolling people in the Affordable Care Act, we've got to have a smooth uh, operation. We've got to have a seamless transition. Uh, I called uh, the governor-elect yesterday uh, to tell him that we're going to uh, really work hard on this. We did the first year. We learned a lot of things in the first year. I think one of the things we learned in the first year is the more in person, the more they talk to our navigators, folks who are looking for what their options are, what the best plan is for their family and for themselves, the better. And do it in a language that folks feel comfortable in. So we really have to make sure that we continue this movement in Illinois. 717,000 people in the course of a year have gotten health care coverage under the Affordable Care Act. And I think that's a heroic achievement. And it's, uh, I think, grounds for doing even more in the coming year, working together to get across that million mark and uh, keep on growing. You know, I, I've often said that the Affordable Care Act is the most transformative piece of legislation to pass in Congress in decades. And here in Cook County, we're responsible for, as the governor said, the third largest public health system in the country. And before the Affordable Care Act, the health care system was the safety net for the underinsured and the uninsured. And now for the first time in the history of our health care system, most of our patients, more than half, have insurance. Wow. And that's the result of the Affordable Care Act. One of the provisions of the Affordable Care Act was to expand Medicaid benefits to a pool of low-income eligible adults. In November of 2012, with the strong support of Governor Quinn, we received permission from the federal government to begin to enroll patients in that expanded Medicaid program, which officially started January 1st of this year. So we had an extra year head start. The adults were able to uh, enroll in the ACA one year earlier under our demonstration project than they could have otherwise. And our demonstration project is called County Care. County Care has now more than 92,000 members and current projections indicate that we'll have 150,000 by the end of 2015. So we now have 92,000 people in Cook County who were either uninsured or underinsured previously. People who, many for the first time in their lives, now have health insurance. On July 1st, we entered the second phase of our transformation plan when Cook County's county care program became a managed care community network, or MCCN. And by becoming a managed care community network, we're able to expand our patient population from the initial single adults and couples without children to families, children, seniors, and persons with disabilities. Wow. While many of our county care members previously relied on the emergency room when their health deteriorated, today they have access to primary care and specialty care with a broad network of doctors and hospitals, as well as prescription drugs, 
lab work, x-rays, and other diagnostic services, comprehensive women's health services, mental health and substance abuse treatment, and the list goes on. County Care Network consists of 138 primary care sites, including our own county facilities, all federally qualified health centers in Cook County, every single FQHC, those are the community-based primary care facilities, as well as 30 hospitals, including five of the city's major academic medical centers. This extensive network allows county care members the ability to access care close to home and within a network of care utilized by their primary care provider. The mission of the Cook County Health and Hospital System is to care for all regardless of their ability to pay. And in fact, each year we provide more than $500 million, half a billion dollars in uncompensated care. But now for the first time through ACA and county care, we can access federal dollars to reimburse some of that care that we provide. This means that we have less of a burden to share with our local taxpayers. This is the promise of, affordable care, of the Affordable Care Act. Over time, not only will we improve the health of people in our communities, but will lower the cost of health care <coughs> delivery in this country. The bottom line is that county care and the Affordable Care Act allow us to maintain our mission of providing care to everyone who needs it while upholding our commitment to the taxpayers of Cook County to streamline the costs of health care. It's been a benefit to everyone, first and foremost to patients, but also to providers and county taxpayers. There's one more thing I'd like to point out. The governor mentioned that the open enrollment period for those buying health insurance in the state's exchange is nearly <coughs> upon us. However, I'd like to remind everybody that the enrollment period for Medicaid is always open. Yeah. Yes, so is. for low-income yes, adults, yes, low-income adults, the program is always open. Any resident who thinks they're eligible for Medicaid could call County Care at 312-864-8200. That's 312-864-8200. Or visit countycare.com for more information. Thank you very much. Oh, well said.